Halloween is a busy time of year for one glass blowing artist in Granville County. Normally, thousands of people flock to Cedar Creek Gallery each year to watch these pumpkins being made. But as CBS 17's Laura Smith reports, this year's a lot different because of the pandemic. Tucked away in the quiet woods north of Raleigh, Lisa Oakley has created her own pumpkin patch at Cedar Grove Gallery. People wait until the, the day that the pumpkin patch opens to come and add to their collection. But these pumpkins never go bad. They're glass. Yes. Everybody wants their hands on a pumpkin. It's phenomenal. What's phenomenal is how she makes each pumpkin. Since I gather molten glass out of the furnace and then I add chips of colored glass to the surface of that. Lisa says the process from start to finish is about time and temperature. The heat gets up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. I go down into a little cup that has ridges in it and that makes the glass thicker in some areas and thinner in other areas. Um, and I blow it and shape it and heat it and blow it and shape it and heat it and then where it was connected to the pipe. Now this is a really cool part. This is when it all comes together. She is putting the stem onto this pumpkin. So every pumpkin is different. That's the exciting part about it. I grew up in the country and walking through you know, pumpkin fields, they were all different colors and different shapes, and some of them were standing up and some of them were laying on their side. She's been blowing glass for over 20 years. Tell me about the impacts of COVID-19. Has this been hard for you guys? Well, yeah, COVID-19 has been really hard. Oakley had to cancel both craft festivals and the gallery recently reopened with limited capacity. We're big enough to be stable, but we're small enough to be very creative and to just be able to turn on a dime and like have an idea and follow that idea. So that's what we've done. Taking her business online for the first time. We're going to get through this because, yeah. you know, you, you either have to laugh or you have to cry. And um, there's a lot of, of, you know, reasons to cry, but we are choosing to take the laugh option. You know, we're finding the positive. Laura Smith, CBS 17.